Okay guys, it's a player here and welcome to welcome back to the Romero Donny run. It's been a month I think since my last upload, so it's just like catching up and in this episode we're moving on to Olivine City. And I've got this going quite fast. In like a couple of episodes, I think I slow it down again. But yeah, so we're just burning through the trainers here at the moment with John Joe. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I've got a little tiny break in my exams at the moment, so I'm like taking this opportunity to record some more and narrate as many as I can so I can keep uploading them to keep you guys happy. So I expect to see a few more episodes of John Joe over the next few days. Um, so yeah. Um, yeah, Mr. Mime actually lived to surf, which was pretty sexy, and he used to meditate, which was gay, but gave me an idea if I could use, like, a meditate Mr. Mime in one of my Wi-Fi battles, like a sweeper, despite his horrendous attack. I don't know his move pool or anything, it's just an idea. Probably has Zen Headbutt. <coughs> So yeah, um, I I got this videos on like faster than usual because I wanted to, especially with this one, because I wanted to try and cram the lighthouse into the same video. So yeah, slow pokes I don't like. Uh, water psychic is the only type combination that resists all three of my attacks. And obviously he gets the paralysis there. Fully paralyzed twice? Come on. Uh, yeah. I know things like, uh, water and dark also resist all of them, but Crawdunt and Sharpedo and that lot, they didn't exist in this generation, so... Yeah, Slowpoke, Slowbro, and Slow King are the only ones that resist all three types that I have in the move pool. And, yeah. <coughs> We're almost at Olivine now. And, just gotta beat this Sailor, Polywell. And, Radicate. But, yeah, as you can see, I'm like. Uh, about double their level, so it, it, there's not much to commentate on, really. It's not overly challenging to win every battle, which hopefully will change as I get a bit further on in the game, because it is kind of hard to narrate when you're just one hit KOing practically everything. But yeah, here we are in Olivine. We heal up. Uh, there's a like a diner in here that has no one behind the counter, and this guy here gives you the HM for strength. So let's teach that to one of our HM slaves. Um. Uh, oh. Uh, we'll have to go catch a HM slave that knows strength then from this route. And if I can actually encounter something, would be nice. Anyone? Anyone at all? Magnemite, that's great. I need something that learns strength though. Meowth? Um, unfortunately, I'm going to KO it if I actually attack it, so I'm going to have to just try and catch it the first time in a ball. I don't have many balls, and this is not looking good. Last great ball. No. Yeah, I, r I run here, because I realize I'm not going to catch it. And I need to go to the mart. And, like, get a foot... And I, I go to the mart here, and I buy, like, ten great balls. <clears throat> and I'm pretty sure I then go and catch it in the first ball. Yeah, I get this radicate here. And I was like, that's cool, I'll just throw a great ball. 
and oh no, it doesn't get it first time or second. And I was starting to think it may take a while to catch one, but then I got it in the third Great Ball. So yeah, I've got to eradicate now. That's going to learn strength. All oh, these HM slaves. Doesn't really matter what he gets rid of. I'm not going to use him in battle ever. Now we can heal up and troll up the uh, lighthouse, which is this really long-looking building here. It looks long, but it's actually meant to be tall. Odd, but yeah. Grind up here, and this gentleman has a Noctowl, which lifts the Aurora Beam. It's pr Noctowl, I really should use it more, it's a pr decent special wall. Even though it's weak to electric and ice, which are common like ice attacks, it's really a good special wall. It's you know it's a good staller like roost maybe toxic whirlwind it's a good utility poke I guess but yeah on uh, this bird keeper's got like five birds and I was like so tempted to use my auto fire but I just yeah I don't, why didn't I use auto fire oh well uh, so yeah I just I can, apart from the quick attacks, I can one hit KO everything pretty much in this lighthouse without them touching me. Um, and despite the fact that I said John Joe was under leveled, which he is for an only run, they'd be easily over 40 by now. Most Pokemon, but John Joe levels a bit slower, but still is oddly able to cope really well on his own. Um, I go around this way first because I know it's... I deliberately know that it's the wrong way. But I just want to explore the whole lighthouse, if you know what I mean. Before going to the actual like event, so to speak, at the top. I come here, another battle. Another bird keeper. And yeah. And we're just carrying on, Spiro. You can enjoy Boston smoking in the background if you want. I really should find an Everstone so that I don't have to go through the uh, whole cancel evolution thing every time I level up. I'll probably be too lazy to bother though. Lack of items sucks as well. John Joe's only just leveled up, so I can use that rare candy straight off the bat. And that's it. So, so we carry on up to the TM34, which is Swagger. I think I've already checked that, but it's a shame he doesn't learn Shadow Ball. Does that mean that if I replace Bubble Beam with Shadow Ball, it'd be unresisted coverage, but oh well. Now Ponyball survives, which is lame, but all he does is like bubble. And we've got to fight this guy still as well. Looks like he's going to have fighting Pokemon, so Psybeam is not a problem for that. And I get a crit on the Ponyball, which probably would have survived, but oh well. The worst it could have done was hypnosis me, and that would have just been annoying. Oh, here we are. There's Jasmine, who you will have met in Diamond and Pearl if you played them. And she says that the Ampharos, which um, is the light at the top of the uh, lighthouse, is sick, and you got to go to Signwood City, or whatever, across the ocean, to go and get the medicine for it. So... Um, in Crystal, the Battle Tower was just up there to the north. But in the next episode, we will cross the sea. So I will see you next time, guys.